Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling from the steamy tackle room today. It's uh, like 98 degrees outside and it just got done sprinkling so it's really humid out. I got the air conditioner on so I can't have the door open to uh, be a little bit loud and the chickens will come in. So the uh, little tackle room is sort of like a sauna in here right now. Anyway, got a really good video for you guys today. We're going to talk about fishing big plastic worms for shallow water summer bass. And I think a lot of people, uh, they equate fishing a big worm with, you know, people know it's good in the summertime, but they think about ledge fishing, fishing deep offshore brush piles, deep points, that type of stuff with it. A lot of people don't ever think about fishing a big worm in super shallow cover. So we're going to get into that a little bit here. And this is something I'm real familiar with. I first got started doing this back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, um, when I was uh, flipping willow trees with them down in uh, Grand Lake in Oklahoma in the middle of the summertime. I, in the past, I'd always flipped a jig in the willow trees down there. And I had a couple buddies that uh, were telling me about catching some good fish back then on a nine inch Guido's ringer, which was considered a big worm back then. And I started experimenting with it, going to the Zoom Old Monsters, Old Monster Magnums later on, uh, flipping and pitching shallow cover in the summer. And I started, you know, seeing when you start to get to mid to late summer and that water gets really hot, how effective a big worm is. It's not only effective to catch big fish, but you get more bites on it than you will like a creature bait or a jig a lot of times. So we'll get into the, the setup here a little bit more details. My favorite worm for it is the Zoom Old Monster Magnum. Now they got the Zoom Old Monster, which is a 10 inch worm. The Old Monster Magnum, a little bit fatter. It's about a 12 inch worm. And guys, they used to use big worms a lot back in the 60s and the 70s and caught a lot of big bass on it. But this is my favorite setup, the Zoom Old Monster Magnum. Get them at Baitworks, I'll include the link in the description if you guys are interested in getting some there. That's my primary shallow worm. This is a big bait, guys. Even though this is a 12 inch bait, you'd be surprised how many like two pound class fish that you catch on it. So what I'm looking for here, in order for this to work, um, there's two different scenarios that I like. It works really good if you happen to have some type of flooded cover, bushes, willow trees, flooded grass, something like that. But that's not real common in the summer, especially in the mid to late part of summer. Sometimes in the early part of the summer, that's real effect or uh, common, not so much this time of year. But, when you have a situation where you got shallow flooded cover and the water's hot, it's really good then. But primarily what I use it for this time of year is I'm looking for the dirtiest water I can find in the lake and I'm fishing whatever shallow wood cover is available. That cover can come in the form of boat docks, stumps, lay downs, overhanging trees, all that type of stuff. It could be horizontal timber, it could be submerged timber, um, just shallow wood in general. I found for the most part, if you can get water visibilities anywhere between say six inches to at the very most two foot, that's when this uh, worm is the most effective. A couple different uh, variations with that. One thing I found is if you have your shallow cover is in less than say four foot of water, say you've got laydowns or stumps or docks that are in less than four foot of water, these fish are gonna be on the bottom 99% of the time. So what I do with that um, is I rig it up with a 3 16 ounce sinker, which you, it may seem pretty light with that, but guys, a 3 16 ounce sinker is the key to these big worms in the summertime. It has a pretty slow fall with it. The, the fall on a 3 16 is enough to, keep, to get the tail action moving real good, but it's a real slow fall, and it's like a big snake coming into the water or something. So 95% of the time, unless it's super windy, I'm using a 3 16 ounce sinker, usually on a 20 to 25 pound test Seaguar and, and Bizex line um, with a Mega Bass Alkalis flipping stick on it. Um, just pitching it in and around whatever covers there. Like again, dock pilings, you know, under docks, under walkways, brush piles, that type of stuff. Letting it go to the bottom and just sort of dragging it back to the boat. That's, that's real effective like that. Now, if you've got cover that is in deeper than four foot of water, Say for example, um, you've got some floating docks or if you've got some, uh, say you've got some lay downs that extend out into a little bit deeper water, or say you've got some standing timber that is in deeper or four or five foot of water, I still use the big worm, but I try to swim it. A lot of times if you have cover in the summer that is dirty and over four foot of water, those fish will suspend around that cover about halfway down. So in that situation, it's the same deal. I'm taking the 316 ounce sinker, 
same setup I flipped the shallow cover with. I'm pitching it out past that shallow cover and just slowly reeling it back in like a swim jig, letting it go about halfway down into the water column. And there's just something about the profile of a big worm in the summertime that just, it gets a lot of bites and it gets a lot of good bites. I mean, normally you would think that a big worm like that, you're, you're just going to catch good ones on it. I catch a lot of just keeper fish on the thing. But if I, in the months of like mid July into like the first part of September, um, if I fish a jig or the big worm, I'll probably get double the bites on the big worm than I do the jig, even if the jig is a smaller profile. Just something about the, the action and the, and the look of the big worm, they just really like under those conditions, guys. Anyway, give it a try. If you guys haven't, if you guys have tried the big worms in deep water, just get up in that shallow water, look for that shallow cover, flip this thing the same way you would a creature bait or jig or something like that. And I can promise you guys, you'll get some good bites on us. A really good way to catch them. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Please hit that subscribe button and the notification button, and we'll talk later.